I do. I do. Can you state it? Our audacious YouTuber found himself in hot water facing charges of assaulting a female officer after she sustained injuries while tackling him off his bike. The officers initially threatened to arrest him for trespassing, even though the property owner seemed utterly nonchalant about their presence. Talk about misreading the room. Name and badge number. She already has done it like this point. Name and, shut up! Name and badge number. Just told you. I want to hear it. Rogozinski, 317. Tell Name. Us 330. Gustav said 322. You look like a man, by the way. Oh what? You look like a man. I've been told. Yeah. You look very tough, by the way. Yeah. Are you the butcher? Who cares? You the butcher? The Hey, it has to be by the property owner. It has to be by the property owner. No, I'd like that from the person. No, it has to be by the property owner. Yes, I want that from the property owner. So, so yes, no, it has to be by the property owner. Sorry, you gotta look. Up. I, I got the. I got trespassing in my background. Interestingly enough, in the realm of legal peculiarities, if a property owner does not object to someone frolicking on their land, the police cannot charge them with trespassing. It appears the owner has implicitly given their consent, allowing the trespasser to roam free who would have thought it has to be the property manager or the owner what's your name and badge number uh it's lieutenant number y'all have dismissed your little time and you're acting like a tyrant yourself yeah you, oh yeah i can't be a tyrant yeah other apartments no, until the owner hey, 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 tells them. Then you have her come out here and tell them. That's it does, it has to be the no, property no, owner no, for no, a no, trespass. No, no, no. I got the trespass laws in my backpack. I'm not talking about her. Babe, let's go. Babe, let's go. The other hey, hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Marissa, let's go. Let's go! Demonstrating the cunning of a fox, the YouTuber made the wise decision to skedaddle when confronted with potentially dicey situations involving our friends in blue. De-escalating the situation and making a swift exit can help avoid unnecessary drama and safeguard an individual's safety and legal rights. It's always best to avoid a rendezvous with handcuffs, after all. It never seems to work out when you hit it. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't it seem to work out when I got a half a million lawsuit on you. I don't like you that much. You. 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 Yeah, I got you plenty of video you. footage of you no. having really do your job. Do your job. Go do you know the First Amendment? You know the First Amendment? I do. Can you state it? Don't resist, babe. Don't hurt him, please. Stop. Don't hurt him. He didn't do anything wrong. Cop Watch and his resourceful girlfriend prove that they can hold their own, displaying a firm grasp of the law and remaining unflappable when interacting with police officers, even amid potential intimidation and rights violations. The girlfriend sagely counts against resistance, showing off her legal prowess like a true ace attorney. And you know that. No. You guys are wrong. No, we're not. Yes, you no, we're are. Not. Under arrest. We didn't do yeah, anything. You be under arrest, I don't want to be under arrest. They keep, they keep I'm going. not doing they anything. Keep going. Keep going. I have to get it stopped. Can I get my stuff? I know, can I get his bike and his stuff? Thank you, I'm going to, I am. In a twisted turn of events, the YouTuber was ultimately charged with assaulting the female officer due to her own actions. To stay in the loop about this intriguing case, be sure to subscribe to Cape Cod Cop Watch on YouTube. Hey, pretty good, man. Good. Are you an American citizen? Uh, yeah. Or right. man, that's why you pulled me over, man. 
first time in the area, I have never seen it before. I kind of know all the people that come here. In a riveting sequel, YouTuber El Zapatista found himself face to face with an immigration officer while cruising to Mexico. This zealous officer demanded his ID for the sole, earth shattering reason that he hadn't seen El Zapatista on that road before. Cue the dramatic music. Have you on tape? Yeah. All right. Are you an American citizen? I am, yeah. I, do you have I already answered that. Uh, do you have reason to suspect that I'm not a citizen, sir? All right, so sure, tell me what an American reason. looks like. If you're able to tell me what an American looks like, I might as well stop doing what I'm doing because honestly, I, I don't know what an American looks I, like. Just tell I, me, please. I, I only asked you, do you have reason to suspect that I'm not an American citizen? That, that was just an... <laughs> and now you're asking me another question. All right, so you want me to answer you that... What? what makes me believe that you're not an American citizen? Right, because you're accusing can, me uh, that I'm not an American citizen, right? Well, I don't need to, you don't need to be an American citizen for me to pull you over. You can be a legal resident, uh, legal. employment registration card, V1, B2 visa holder, a student visa over here. Okay. So I don't need you to be an American. Not, not, yes, he's recording me, right? But, but, right here. but you but you did ask me if I was an American citizen. Well, that's, you know, when I encounter, I'm not the local police yes. department. I'm not the deputy. I'm not right. Chula Vista right. PD. Right. So. Individuals hold the sacred right to traverse public roads without being accosted by police officers without just cause. Officers must possess reasonable suspicion or probable cause, not just an itchy trigger finger, to justify a traffic stop and request identification. It seems our roads are not, in fact. Act, runways for random ID checks. Things that I need to do is to identify myself. Right. Is the first question that I need to do as an immigration right. officer right. is to make sure that you're an American citizen or legal resident. Okay, I I am a oh, you're I an American citizen. Questions? Yes, right, I am a legal well. American citizen. All right, is this your car? This is my car. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you, do you come through here often through this road? Uh, through this road, not often. No. Okay. Yeah. Where yeah. are you heading right now, sir? I am going to Tecate. Tecate, Mexico. Yes. yes. Very well. All right. You mind shutting off your engine just for all of our safety? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Do you have an ID on you? I have my driver's license. May I see it, please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mean for you to get riled up or to, you know, cr create oh, any no. inconveniences. I just ask, you know, because it is an inconvenience for me to get pulled over. And and I've, I've been through here before. Okay. Like, I lived here in Tecate before when i was about to get married because my wife was a mexican citizen and okay. we were waiting for her visa and i came through and i i'm not saying you personally but border patrol agents abused the hell out of my rights when i didn't know any better okay so as an american citizen I learn my rights and I want to exercise them. For American citizens, knowing your rights is the key to avoiding potential legal snares, particularly during those oh so pleasant interactions with law enforcement. This is of utmost importance for younger Americans who might not fully comprehend their legal rights and could accidentally find themselves tangled in violations without realizing it. Imagine being stopped and searched without probable cause or coerced into forfeiting your rights during police questioning. The horror. Oh, so that starts by me asking you, questions. You right to ask and, questions. And I don't have, it's not an inconvenience for me to prove my identity. Here's my driver's license. Okay. Right? But, but, Please? yes. All right. Right here. And, and, worried, but I don't, I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, my rights are being respected as well. Oh, and yes, I'm going to respect your rights. As right. long as you're not over here doing any, you know, trying to pick up people. That's, of course that's not. That's what I'm no. here for. No. And thanks for your cooperation. So I hope right. that I answer your question. Luis, I have never seen you before i'm i'm assigned to the checkpoint myself my partner over there we're constantly driving over here right right and we kind of get to know the the, the pattern the local the, yeah the people that come like okay he's a worker he's he lives on hotel x right. Potrero, Dulzura, those Zapatista maintains that he was far too well-mannered to be pulled over for no valid reason, but concedes he had just wrapped up his night shift after working two jobs and was simply too exhausted to wrangle with the officer. If you want to watch this nail-biting video of their encounter, find the link in the description and share your thoughts. Should police be granted the power to tackle you to the ground and then charge you for assaulting an officer, we'll let you be the judge.